How's it going, Trey? We are joined Appreciate now. You, man. Thank you. How you doing? By Trey Lyles of your Sacramento Kings. We're getting Trey set up with everything. Like we said, we be made conversation. So we decided to kill some time talking about Jimmy Butler's <laughs> hairstyle. <laughs> Trey Lyles, thank you so much for joining us, man. Sure, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Now, I'm going to just get this out the way now. Trey, I normally don't ask this question within the first line of meeting another man, but how's how's the groin doing? No, how's we're good. Groin? Okay. We're, we're headed in the right direction. <laughs> okay, <We're good>. great, <laughs> great, great, great. How was your uh, how was your summer so far? Uh, it was good. You know, it was uh it was quick, it was busy. Um, lots of basketball. Yeah, sure. How was the uh, how was the Olympic experience? It was good. You know, yep. I'm glad I did it. Um New experience for me, first time in France. Sure. First, obviously, first time playing in the Olympics and being a part of that and, and seeing other athletes and stuff like that. So it was cool. Yeah. You have Jordy going over to Brooklyn. What do you think Jordy is going to bring to that that Brooklyn team? And what are you going to miss from Jordy being out here in Sacramento with you? Um, I think he'll bring a lot of structure over there, you know, mm -hmm. um, um, a lot of hard work, a lot of, you know, teaching um those guys and, and they have a young team so mm -hmm. i think he'll i think he'll fit in and he's able to vibe with the players and and kind of know what's going on sure, so it's yeah. always helpful when you have a coach like that mm -hmm. um i asked i answered the same question earlier you know jordy was our defensive guy and kind of just like always a guy that was challenging us not to mm -hmm. say that mike wasn't but right. just more so defensively he was always you know trying to teach us trying to have us learn trying to be better he was always you know film talking 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 mm -hmm. yeah which is mm -hmm. you know what we needed and stuff like that so we're gonna miss that but obviously you know knowing mike and and knowing a couple of the other coaches that that, that void's gonna be filled you know pretty quickly yeah. yeah you said that was your first time in paris yeah first time in france yeah, yeah. Well, how how was that what was your what was your favorite part of just kind of being um, around the city paris was um, uh, uh amazing you know, it's it's a beautifully architecturally designed yeah, city. Sure. Um, I, I love cities. I'm able to walk through and just do random stuff. So right. that was that was perfect being over there for that. Um, obviously, didn't stay as long as uh, as we wanted <laughs> right. to, but uh, you know, it was it was a good trip. You know, um, it was a nice city, good food, nice restaurants. For sure. You know, um, went to a couple museums, which was fun. Oh, nice. So that was that was cool. Nice. Here talking to Trey Lyles. Trey, a lot of people talk about the forward depth on this team, and it's been a talking point. Only four forwards on the team with Keegan, Jalen, now Damar, and yourself. What do you expect your role to look like this season? Are you more of a, I'm just going to do my job and, and see what happens? Do you talk to coach about it? How do you approach all of that? Um, you know, coach does a thing where he, he gives every player on the team a role mm -hmm. um, at, at, at a certain point during the season. So, you know, once I get my role, mm -hmm. which I pretty – much, you know, I think it's pretty similar, you know, <laughs> right, to last right. year, you know, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm one of those guys, I've said it before, where I can just, I'm going to control what I can control, which right. is my energy and my effort. Yeah. So, um, you know, uh, I'm going to go out there and do that and, and try to step up in more ways. And like I, I said it earlier, you know, my, my thing this year is just being available. Mm -hmm. you know, last year I wasn't available a lot, which was tough on me, tough on the team, I think, in certain instances, and then trying to get back into it at the end of the season. Obviously, it wasn't wasn't the best idea. So uh, mm -hmm. just being available, being yeah. healthy, um, going out there and obviously doing doing what the team needs me to do, which which I'm okay with whatever that is, and mm -hmm. I just want to win. So, yeah, I'm good with whatever. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of curious. Uh, someone like you, I mean, you kind of play a really unique role. You're asked to play out on the perimeter offensively, a little bit defensively too, but you're also asked to kind of be sometimes a, a backup five and maybe a stretch five or at least – bang down in the post how tough is that like during the summer on your body to just kind of find that perfect middle ground of being able to stay mobile but still be strong and physical enough to kind of bang around in the uh, post i think it's pretty easy no, really I haven't, I haven't struggled with it i haven't struggled with it probably since my second or third year um and i think that comes with age just sure. getting stronger yeah. naturally right. you know um being able to, to guard bigger guys just from naturally getting stronger and then you know offensively being able to play on the perimeter that's just workouts right. you know that's just continuing to to shoot shoot a lot um shoot off the move a lot and just mm -hmm. be out there and doing that so it's not hard for me to do that um obviously uh I think I excel a little bit in the in the stretch five role sure. um, for our team and stuff like that so it's something that you know, i've told coaches i've told our coach, I told Mike, I told everybody else, you know, um, you know, if that's what they need from me. I'm, I'm more than capable. So, yeah. yeah. From the Canadian team that you played with this summer, you had Shea on that team. You had Jamal Murray. I mean, NBA champions too. Now having DeMar DeRozan join this team. How are you soaking in being around a lot of this elite talent and talent that has kind of been where the Kings are trying to go? No, I, I think it's great. You know, um, I've played with, obviously, I've played with Jamal. Um, early in his career, mm -hmm. I played with Demar 
in San Antonio. Um, mm. So, you know, these are guys that I'm used to being around. Um, I've played with a lot of great individual players yeah. and, and been on some good teams. So I think us, you know, acquiring DeMar is just going to help take us to that next level. Whereas games mm -hmm. last year where we were losing, you know, down the stretch, we yeah. have a guy like him who's experienced, not to say that De'Aaron uh, De De and, and Domas aren't the, aren't capable either because they're more than capable, but having another option to go to for us mm -hmm. as a team is just going to accelerate us that much more in, in those games in certain situations, and hopefully we won't even be in those because of these guys. Yeah. What are you guys hoping to uh, accomplish this year? Like, what do, what do you think this team is really capable of? I mean, I think it's the same thing every year. You sure. Know, guys want to make the playoffs. Of course. So, you know, that's the number one thing, but I think we're capable of a lot. You know, that first year that we had Mike, we were really, you know, surprising a lot of people, and I think that if we could get back to that style of playoff, just running and just getting yeah. out there and playing, playing together and playing, you know, like that. Um, I think, I think, you know, the sky's the limit for us. We have, we have the depth, we have the, the players, we have the scoring, we have, you know, the ability to play defense when we really lock in. We showed that last year and I think we'll continue to do that this year. So it's really just up to us, you know, uh, well, you know, how far we take it. Yeah. Trey Lyles, thank you so much Sorry. for joining us. Trey Lyles Appreciate of your you Sacramento Kings. Thanks, Can't wait. Good luck this season, man. We'll talk Appreciate to you it. soon. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Trey. Appreciate it, man. That thank was you. Trey Lyles of your Sacramento Kings. Great stuff from Trey talking about his summer, talking about, you know, playing with DeMar DeRozan, even back in San Antonio to now, Jamal Murray. Yeah. Great stuff going there. And we are getting notes from Nate. So as we kind of take those notes and and run with them. Chris, what Man. were your initial takeaways from what we heard from Trey? Well, first off, I wish I could be Trey. I asked him, you know, how tough is it to keep your body like? And he's yeah. like, man that's easy that's right. easy i mean you know and i i really i was not expecting that answer you know i think it was i was kind of giving him a 